Uh, I dropped it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Today we are going to be doing an empties video. These used to be super popular on YouTube. I've always enjoyed watching them, um, so we are going to get into it. If you don't know what an empties video is, it's pretty much I save a lot of my junk, my trash, used up beauty products, uh, skincare, things like that, save it all up, and then I go through my junk and just let you know if I liked it, if I didn't like it, if I'm going to repurchase it or not. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it because I have quite a bit of stuff here. So first off, I have this right here. Um, I got it off of Amazon. They have a bunch of different kinds that you can get. Um, they are Acne Pimple Master Patch, and this is from the brand COSRX. Uh, so it looks like this here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's a sheet like this that has a bunch of little circles on it. So there's like one little patch right here that I have left over. Um, anytime that you feel like you're getting a pimple or you can feel it coming or if you already have one, you can pop one of these patches on at night before you go to bed. And the next morning, like, I'm not even joking, it's flat. And sometimes, I mean, it wouldn't always work, you know, to where it would be completely flat or anything. Sometimes it would take away the redness. Sometimes it did completely like flatten it out and there would just be like a little spot there but I could easily cover it up with my makeup um so I really did like those and since I have one more left it's not going to be trash anymore so next thing that I have is Dove Refresh and Care Dry Shampoo this is for volume and fullness um I liked it it smelled nice um I mean it's it worked pretty well. It Honestly, it didn't give me very much volume in my hair or fullness in my hair, but it did take care of the oiliness in my hair whenever I would use it. So I liked it. Um, I mean, I'm always on the lookout for new ones. I've never really stuck with one dry shampoo over the other. I have a Garnier Micellar Water. This is the, uh, the one with the pink cap, the original one. I go through these all the time. I'm surprised there's not Ooh, another one in here oh wait I have two of them so next up we have the pixie glow tonic to go wipes um, this is what I use for my toner it comes with these extremely flat wipes that you you know wipe all over your skin with um, but I love this one. I like this one more than the regular Pixie Glow Tonic that is in the actual bottle. Um, I feel like I go through that way too fast. This is a complete game changer whenever I introduce it into my skincare routine. If I'm not wearing makeup or something, my skin just has a natural glow to it. And I know that it's from using this because my skin never had a natural glow to it. If you haven't used this and you don't use toner, dude, get it because it's amazing. I have a suave Moroccan infusion um, body moisturizer. It's basically like a spray on lotion. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Honestly, I've had this for a long time because I just stopped using it because I'm honestly, I, it doesn't really do much for me. It doesn't super moisturize my skin. My, it's not something that I would repurchase. Oh, and I have another Pixie Glow Tonic in here. See, I told you. I love these things. Y'all are just learning my skincare routine today. So, <laughs> um, I have my favorite moisturizer in here. I have already repurchased it and I need to purchase another one because mine is almost out. Um, this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. This is the Hyaluronic Acid one. This is by far my favorite moisturizer that I've ever used. It has a really nice, like, thin gel consistency. It goes on amazingly. It absorbs into my skin, and it feels so good. Um, I did try something different, which is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm. The packaging looks pretty similar. Um, I do like the package on the Garnier one just a little bit better than the Neutrogena, because the Neutrogena, it's like a thick, like, a plasticky material. The Garnier is glass. I don't feel that with the Garnier Skin Active, it didn't moisturize my skin as well as my Neutrogena did. 
and I think that is because of the hyaluronic acid that's in the Neutrogena, because as we know, hyaluronic acid is a really good form of a moisturizer. You do get the same amount of product in both of these. I know that the Garnier one is a little bit cheaper than the Neutrogena one, um, but still, the Neutrogena is just bomb.com for me. Um, I have my deodorant in here, the Degree Dry Spray. This one is in Fresh Energy. I don't really care what flavor it is, but um, I mean, I like it. It goes on dry. It doesn't stain my clothes. It's it's a deodorant and it's pretty good. Um, another dry shampoo. I have the L'Oreal Extraordinary Clay Dry Shampoo. Um, I don't... I don't think I like this one. Honestly, I mean, if I forget how a product was, obviously, I, it didn't really impress me that much. Um, I don't think I particularly cared for this one. I did, I did use it up. Um, I have another Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Ooh, I love this, and I want to go get another one. This is the Neutrogena Deep Clean. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is the Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Wash Off Clay Mask. It comes in like this little bitty pod. I loved this whenever I used it. It was amazing. I put it on, you know, normal face mask type stuff. Um, after I washed it off, my skin felt so clean. It felt so soft, moisturized at the same time, which was weird because it's a clay mask. And it looked amazing and it felt so, so soft. So. Highly recommend these, and honestly, there is enough in here for two applications. Um, I have the Up and Up body oil. Um, it's comparable to the Neutrogena body oil. Uh, I dropped it. It was pretty good. Um, I do feel like it was kind of clogging my pores on my body because I was getting some breakout, like a couple breakouts on my chest and like a couple breakouts on my back, which I've never had body acne before. And that was the only thing different that I was doing, you know, as far as applying stuff to my body. Um, so I'm not going to repurchase that one just because I don't like breakouts on my body. So, but it did make my skin super soft. I have two setting sprays. They are both the L'Oreal Infallible setting sprays. Um, I barely had enough to do my face today, which made me sad. A lot of masks. All of these masks here, um, these all came in a gift set. They are the Yes To brand, and honestly, I loved all of them. So all of these, they came in like a box gift set or whatever. Um, they're just single-use masks, and I really liked all of them. I wouldn't say that any of them like outperformed another one. To me, they're all, you know, kind of the same. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go down them just real quick just to tell you which ones were in that gift set. I think it, it was a Christmas gift set. Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin De Detoxifying Charcoal Mask. Yes to Miracle Oil Calm and Smooth for Skin Redness. It's Primrose Oil Mud Mask. And we have a Yes to Grapefruit Brightening Mask. This was for dull and uneven skin. It's Vitamin C Glow Boosting Mud Mask. Um, yes to Cucumbers for Sensitive Skin Calming Mud Mask. Yes to Coconuts Ultra Hydrating Moisturizing Mask for Dry Skin. I know that I really, really loved this one. It felt so nourishing on my skin. Like, I, this one was awesome. Like, this one I think did stand out just a little bit more than the other ones. Yes to Grapefruit Brightening for Dull and Uneven Skin. This one is a Vitamin C Glow Boosting Peel Off Mask. I don't think that this one was in that same gift set with the other ones. I think this one I bought separately. I loved this one, so I love the Yes To brand, obviously, for their masks. A different brand, I don't know what brand this is. Oh, this is the K Bella brand. Um, this is like a multi-mask pack. You have a Repair, Perfect, and Nourish mask. So the Repair is a charcoal mud mask, you know, designed kind of like for your T-zone. Um, the Perfect is a Super Berry mud mask and they recommend this one for your cheek area right here. And then the bottom one is a Nourish Coconut Cream Mask, um, and they recommend that one for underneath your eyes. There was a lot of product in here. Now, this next mask was kind of a disaster for me. I got 
got this from Walmart. <sighs> I don't have the top of it, but it is a modeling peel-off mask with pearl powder in it. It's supposed to purify, calm, firm, and brighten your skin. It's for all skin types at one-time use, and that's very apparent. It is a one-time use. There's still so much product in here. Like, this whole bottom area is filled with product. I had difficulties with this one. So, it comes with this little paper thing, and you see, like, there's a fill line. There's powder in here. You put water in here, and it comes with a spatula, which the spatula was really nice, and I wish that I still had it, but I don't. I don't know what happened to it. Um, but you put the water in here, and you stir it up with a little spatula that it comes with, and you apply it to your face. I don't know why. I could never get the correct consistency for this. It never would smooth out. It was, it was so annoying. It was just tacky and then it started firming up before I even put it on my face because I was still trying to mix it and there was like powder like still on the very bottom that wasn't even getting touched by the water. It was kind of a disaster. I tried to put it on my face and kind of wish I would have filmed it because it was pretty comical. Um, I hated that. <laughs> that was, you know, Whenever you put a mask on at home or something, it's supposed to be a nice and calming experience and you're just zen and, you know, you're just hanging out and, you know, whatever. This was infuriating. I hated it so much. But I want to buy it again. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a video on that. I'll buy it again and see if I can make it work a second time. So the last thing that we have for my empties is this from Sunday Riley. It is the CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. I had gotten this in an Allure Beauty Box. Oh, it might have been February that I got this. Yeah, I think it was in February or it might have been January. Can't remember. But this was a full-size product from Sunday Riley. I think this one retailed for like $98 or something or $89. Somewhere in that price range. I love this. Like, this has been amazing for my skin. Completely, I mean, it transformed it. My skin, like, I had really bad, um, like, dark spots from acne scars. Most of those are completely faded now. They're almost completely gone. My, I feel so much more confident in my skin now. And I, I, I owe a lot of it to this product. It's an amazing product. It smells like oranges, which, oh, God, I love it. There's just, like, a teeny, teeny, tiny bit left in here. I'm going to scrape the barrel for this and get out of it as much of it as I can. I don't think I'm going to repurchase that, however, because, honestly, Mama ain't got the funds for it. Um, I wish that I could, but as of right now, I'm not going to be repurchasing that, but I would definitely recommend it. If you were having problems with acne spots or anything like that, you know, dark marks on your skin, and you can afford it, get it, because this has been so, so, so amazing. I use half a pump of it every morning and night, and I would only put it on my cheek area right here, and it's awesome. Um, now that my scarring has faded pretty significantly, I am going to find, like, another kind of brightening product like that, that I can keep using in place of it, just because I do want to continue to fade my acne scarring. Um, however, I just won't be doing that with this product. So that was all of my empty products. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, now I can finally throw all of this trash away and start another basket. I hope you had a good time, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.